diamond, the hardest and toughest naturally occurring material known to man, able to cut through concrete and steel, which is formed under extreme heat and enormous pressure. But there is a man who is known to possess a very powerful grip, equal to a hundred tons of pure pressure, a grip able to transform raw carbon into a diamond. Scientifically impossible, yet this man surpasses the grip strength of Hanayama, Musashi, and even that of his ancestors, Nomino Sukune II, a descendant of a similar name, a humble man with a simplistic mindset who speaks in a very calm manner, even during battles. Combine that to an ancient type of combat, sumo wrestling. Sumo's history spans over 2,000 years, a sport where size matters, a type of competitive full contact wrestling, in which a rakishi forces his opponent out of a circular ring or to touch the ground with any part of his body other than the soles of his feet, usually by throwing, slapping, shoving, or pushing the opponent outside of an elevated ring, proving their durability as they can absorb the immense force of a concussion-inducing head collision. These gigantic wrestlers charges at one another as they clash with cataclysmic force. Sumo wrestlers are flexible and undeniably powerful as they have more muscle than fat. Every muscle fiber in their body underwent extensive training, for they train to carry their opponent of equal weight, drawing their strength with their sheer mass alone, allowing them to throw opponents below their body weight with great ease. Sukune is able to incredibly move and strike swiftly, even at 250 kilograms of body weight. It is a mistake to fight Sukune in his own domain, as he will grab you by the ribs, shoulder blades, or pelvic bones with no hesitation. For Sukune's grip is unequaled as he grabbed Oliva by the ribs, which are protected by the world's firmest muscle fibers, which act as an impenetrable armor, muscles which can even deflect bullets or slugs muscle fiber that reach deep into his skeleton, palms that are able to open an unbreakable fortress of muscle, breaking his ribcage in the process. Sukune's durability was even able to withstand Yujiro's abominable blow, surviving the attack with almost minimal damage. Sukune's combat techniques, Shakiri stands, the standard stance of a sumo wrestler before the initial clash, an offensive and defensive stance where a rakishi tries to gain psychological advantage by utilizing intense stare down with the opponent, headbutt, a basic fighting technique that uses the skull's hardest point, usually utilized during the initial clash at full force and during combat. Sumo wrestlers are somehow immune to the concussive damage caused by the impact where the sound of two skulls colliding can be heard. Sukune's headbutt can shatter even the fearful iron fist of Oliva. Yaguranage or inner thigh throw, a technique where the user places the knee or leg against the opponent's inner thigh and drives the leg upwards lifting the opponent while forcing the body to the opposite direction. A baranage or rib throw, an ancient sumo technique utilizing Sukune's incredible grip strength. By gripping the opponent's rib cage, Sukune lifts the opponent's body inflicting serious injury and unbearable pain, throwing the opponent with the intention of smashing the head to the ground. Harite or slap, since punching in sumo wrestling is prohibited. Sumo wrestlers utilize their palm to slap the opponent. This technique either damages the opponent or to create distance, preventing the opponent from grabbing their mawashi. Soccer ball kick, 
an offensive fighting technique of devastating force. A powerful kick, usually executed with an upward motion, targeting the opponent's chin, causing massive damage to the opponent. Stance of Congo Rakeshi The stance of the Power Lords of the Diamond Realm. Congo Rakeshi is a protector of Buddha, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. This stance is considered to be unquestionably the strongest stance, usually used to counter the opponent's attack, which is followed by a devastating strike. However, Sukune met his defeat by the hands of Jack Hanma, as Sukune doesn't have any defensive movements and wasn't able to counter Jack Hanma's Udo. Little by little, Sukune was being devoured alive, which later caused muscle failure and blood loss by serious injuries of fatal mastication. This led to his defeat as he can no longer lift or damage his opponent effectively. Sukune, although as powerful as he is, lacks counter-defensive movements, foresight, or effective striking combos. Though, he has incredible superhuman grip strength, which can easily crush bones and flesh, extraordinary resilience, and massive body weight. He cannot be compared to the likes of Pickle and Musashi. But among the rest of the Rakeshi, Nomino Sukune II unquestionably rises above them all.